going to practice adding and subtracting using this standard algorithm. An algorithm is kind of like a formula or a plan for doing something, in this case a plan for adding and subtracting. And the standard algorithm is the plan that people have been using to solve addition and subtraction problems for years and years and years. So let's get started with an addition equation. 785 plus 167. Now, when we use the standard algorithm, we have to write the problem vertically. So I'm going to do that. 785 plus 167. And you'll notice that I was very careful to line up my ones and my tens and my hundreds in their own columns. Whenever you use the standard algorithm, you have to start with the ones. So I'm going to add five plus seven. And I know that five plus seven equals 12, but I can't put both of these digits in the ones place. Only the ones digit can go there. And what am I going to do with this one? Well, I know that that one represents one ten. So I'm going to put that one ten up here in the tens column. And now I can add my tens. I've got 80 plus 60 plus that extra 10 that I'm kind of carrying on top of the other 10s. So I'm going to write that 80 plus 60 plus that extra 10. Now I know that if I have 80, I need to add 20 more to get 100. 60 can be composed of 20 plus 40. So if I add 80 and 20, then I have 100. Another 40 is 140, plus that extra 10, that's 150. Of course, only the tens digit can go here in the tens column. I'm going to take this one, which represents 100, and I'm going to carry it on top of my other hundreds. And I don't even have to worry about that zero, because two ones plus zero ones, still two ones. And now I can add up my hundreds. I've got 700 plus 100 plus that extra 100 that we were carrying. And 700 plus 100 is 800 plus another 100 is 900. And the only digit that I'm going to use is the 9 in the hundreds place. It goes right here. I'm not going to even worry about those other zeros because 50 plus zero is still 50, and two plus zero is still two. And there's my sum, 952. Now we're going to use the standard algorithm to subtract. And here's my equation, 622 minus 296 equals, we're about to find out. But first, let's write the problem vertically. 622 minus 296. And once again, you can see that I was very careful to line up my ones, and my tens, and my hundreds. Now, whenever you use the standard algorithm, you always begin with the ones. And something else to keep in mind about subtraction is that you have to begin with the menu end with this big number and take away the subtrahend, the smaller number. That means I have to start with the two from the menu end, and I have to take away the six in the subtrahend. But that is not going to work. If I have two cookies, I cannot give you six cookies. So with the standard algorithm, we borrow. I'm going to come over here to my tens, and I'm going to borrow a 10 from 20 and put that one 10 right here in the tens place next to my two ones, and now I have an equation that will work, 12 minus six. But before I solve that, I can't forget that I borrowed a 10 from my two tens here. That means I've only got one 10 left, and I have to write that above the two tens so I don't forget. All right, 12 minus 6 equals 6, and the 6 goes right here in the 1's place. Now we can subtract our 10's. So I have 10, and I'm going to take away 9 10's. That's a value of 90. And that's not going to work either. So I'm going to have to borrow again. This time I'll borrow from my 100's. So I'm going to cross off 600, and I'm going to give a 10. I'm sorry, I'm going to give 100 right here to 10, and now I've got 110 minus 90, and that will work. But before I solve it, I can't forget that I, I borrowed one of my hundreds, which means I only have 500 left, and I have to write it there so I don't forget. All right, 110 minus 90 equals 20. I know that 100 
minus 90 would be 10. And I've got this extra 10 here. So that's going to give me two tens, 20. And the two goes in the tens place. And now I can subtract my hundreds. I have 500, and I'm going to take away 200. I know 5 minus 2 equals 3. So 500 minus 200 is 300, and the 3 goes right here in the hundreds place. And you can see that all of my differences here, I didn't mean to circle that, all of my differences show the expanded form of our answer. 300 plus 20 plus 6, that's 326. That's the difference. And we're done.